Now that we have set up our Twilio and we've got description, it's now time to start using it. So let's go. It's your favorite tech trainer, Bren Brewer. And today we're gonna to use Twilio inside of Command. So I have my contact here. So I've logged into Command at agent.kw.com. I have clicked on Contacts and I searched for the one that I want to text. So here's the contact that I want to text. I'm gonna click on his name and then you can see his phone number is here. I'm gonna click on the phone icon and you can see here if I have call, I can call or send a text with Twilio. So I'm actually gonna click on send a text Twilio. This box is gonna pop up where you can type your message. So I'm just typing a test message here, but you can see that I can type a text message. I can click on the little smiley face icon and search for any kind of emojis that I might want to use. I can click on browse and I can find a picture and attach that as well. And you can see here that when you're doing that, it's going to charge you a little more from your credit. Now I'm just showing you what you can do. You don't ever have to add um, photos if you don't want to. If you accidentally add a photo that you don't want to text, you just click the X and take it off. When your message looks the way you would like it to look, you come over here, you click on calculate cost. It's going to tell you this is going to cost you one credit to send and then you click send. Now, if this is not the number you want to send and Josh has a, and your client has another number listed, you can click, click on this drop down and select it. Otherwise, when you're ready, you're just going to click send. Now let's browse for files and add that photo again. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to recalculate my cost and you can see adding a photo is going to take a credit. So now I'm just going to click send. I'm going to refresh my page. See that the message is going to get logged into the contact record just like that. And you can see the photo I sent and you can see the text message I sent as well. So that's how you text from the contact record in command. Now this is not the only way that you can text people. You can utilize smart plans like the birthday smart plan where a text message will go out wishing your client a happy birthday. You can create your own custom smart plans with a text message in them. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let me show you. So we're going to go to actually smart plan and let's say I want to, I'm going to create my own smart plan. So I'm going to click create a smart plan for an open house. Um, just listed text to database on one, two, three, four, main street. Click apply. So now you can see here's the things that are actually going to be actions in my smart plan. I have zero action. Now you can see on the right hand side are my actions. The only action I'm going to do, I'm going to create a one step custom smart plan and I am only going to send a text. That is it. So I clicked on send text. Now you can see I can send an automated text or create a text tab. We want to utilize Twilio. So we want to make sure send an automated text is selected. It's going to be from you. Your Twilio account should say connected. If it's not, follow the steps in my previous video. And then we want to type our text message. So I'm going to say hi, and then I'm going to put in my contact first name, and then I'm always going to introduce myself. I'm going to say this is Bryn with KW Professionals, da, 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 da. And then I'm going to write what I want my text message to say. For this purpose, I think I'm going to put, we just listed a house and we want to invite you to the, the open house. And then I would probably go and get the link from my KW website. So let's go to my website. I'm going to pretend like this is the house or Main Street. It's actually 108, but whatever. I'm going to click in the top of my browser bar where it has my website. I'm going to copy, go back to my smart plan to put this here. So basically my text message is going to say, hey, this is hi, contact first name. This is Bryn Brewer with KW Professional. We just listed a house and wanted to invite you to come take a look at our open house this weekend. It is Sunday from two to four. The address is blah, blah, blah. And then I put my link also for the actual property website, which would be here. 
right? Now, this is going to work well too if you're doing a broker open house, if you have agents in your database. So if you're doing a broker open house, you have agents in your database, then you'll be able to go uh, text this to all the agents in your database, especially if you have them tagged per zip code. So here is the open house uh, text message. That is the only step I want to take right now and then I'm going to click save. All changes to your smart plan have been saved. Now I'm going to go to contact. I'm going to filter by my tags. So whatever your tags are, that's what you want to filter by. So you can see I have all these people in 77429. Whether they are tagged or not, they may just be in that zip code. I am going to make sure that I send these to everyone. So I'll click this button here. So basically I'm going to make sure that I'm showing 1 through 78 of all the 78 that pulled up and then I'm going to select them all, select a bulk action, click add to smart plan, and then my just listed text to my database that I just made. And I would probably start off with the address for future so that I could make sure I was doing the correct property. And then I'm just going to click select. It's going to tell me that six people have errors, they're missing phone numbers. I'm going to remove the contacts with error. And if I have more than 200, I'm going to select the third option stagger over the next few days so I need to make sure that I am doing this at least a week if not more from the time that my open house is um, so if I'm starting on if my open house is on Sunday I need to be doing this at least Sunday or Monday before my open house since I only have 72, I could start all now, or I could start them on the following date and maybe set that for the Friday or Saturday before my open house. So just so you know, and then once you have once you have the option selected that you want, you will just click confirm, and then all of these people will get your smart plan. These people, this is not a real property or anything, so I'm not going to click confirm, but that is what you would do. Anyway, that is how you can text in command through your database, either one at a time on each contact record or bulk contact. So bulk texting. Hope that you like this and let me know in the comments below if you're using it. Next week we'll go over how to text with Twilio from our mobile command app. So I can't wait. Stay tuned.